of my patient who is taking treatment for infertility had cyst in the ovary on second day scan. Do we start with treatment in the presence of cyst is the question for today. Before understanding this question, let's understand why do cysts happen in the ovary. If you look at the ovary, um, on second day of menses, all these follicles which contains egg will be very small in size. As the uh, uh, menstrual cycle progresses, the follicle also starts growing within which the egg also starts maturing. And around mid-cycle, this follicle will release the egg which is mature, which will be picked up by the tube. And once it gets fertilized, it comes back to the uterus. The embryo comes back to the uterus and the pregnancy continues. And in the meantime, there is a development of corpus luteum which supports pregnancy. If there is no pregnancy, this corpus luteum will die and the whole cycle will start again. So if we see fluid filled cyst in mid cycle or just before mid cycle, it's normal. But on day 2 if we see cyst, then it is either an early developed follicle or it is a corpus luteum which is not regressed or it is just a simple cyst which is not producing any hormones. And usually these cysts come from a follicle which has not disintegrated. So what happens if we give treatment in the presence of cyst? There are two types. One is it is functional or not functional. Functional means which produces hormones. If it produces hormones, then when we give treatment, even these are hormones, there will be clash between internal and external hormones and maybe a woman may not respond better. And the other thing is the size of the cyst. If the cyst is occupying most of the space in the ovary, then it may not allow the other follicles to grow. So if the size of the cyst is more than 2 cm or if the cyst is functional, we don't give treatment in that particular cycle.